Hi guys, this is a super short video about OBS and Skyhoy controllers. This is OBS, you may already know it. It is uh, scene based, so you can change between scenes. I set up four scenes right here. You can do the same on the Skyhoy controller. This is a Crosspoint 24, a generic button interface, but as you probably know already, we have many different models of controllers. They are all ethernet powered, single cable for power and signals. We use USB for configuration. So currently we have been playing a little bit with setting up the surface. This is why this cable is inside it. So it could have been any of the Skyhoy controllers. They'll all work with OBS. Now, OBS is a software, if you didn't know, that is very useful for uh, streaming, but you can also set up compositions like this. So uh, streaming and recording is often how it will be used in a larger context. So imagine you have an ATEM switcher or some vision mixing system. The output of that one could go into OBS and be streamed. So there are certain deliverables which are just no-brainers. We need to start stop streaming, start stop recording, scene changes. And that's what we have right here. So uh, let's, let's just look at it. If I press on these buttons, you see I go to scene two. I did it with the mouse just before. I go to scene three here, I go to scene four. So it is really easy to do just that. In OBS, I can easily create a new scene. So notice what happens when I, I make scene number four. Um, okay, we just name it scene number four. And on the controller immediately, scene number four is now selected. You see uh, it is selected, it's also named. So here you see the utility of the OLED displays on Skyhoy controllers very, very clearly. You know what, if I actually uh, rename this scene, let's try that and call it um, something. Then immediately the label is of course updated on your Skyhoy controller because that's what we do. We make it seamlessly integrated with the things we control. So that is one thing about scenes. Um, let's see what happens if I change the order of scenes. Hmm, order of scenes changed, right? So that's another very useful thing about this integration. On these two buttons, we have recording and streaming start and stop. So when I press this one, you see recording starts in OBS. And when I press it once again, recording is stopping. And likewise, if I press the streaming button, I can start streaming and I can stop streaming in the exact same way. That's basically what I wanted to show you for the Skahoy integration with OBS. In case you think that OBS is just a like advanced PowerPoint slideshow thing here, which shows us colorful backgrounds with text, I can tell you it is not. But this is not a video about OBS. But if I go to the something scene that I just set up, I could uh, add a layer to this scene. So by simply going here, adding video capture device, uh, let's call this webcam. OK, I select my current webcam right here. Hello and press OK. This is now inserted and a part of my composition. So again, I can change between this one and the other scenes by using my Skahoy controller, as you can see. And that's basically it. Those of you knowing OBS knows that this is very, very useful. And keep in mind that on this device, you could have it integrated with a PDC control and live streaming devices, video routers and everything. And that's what we are about integrating control of many devices into a single control panel to make seamless user-friendly integrations.